We're gonna do a couple of warm-up exercises. So basically when you want to uh, start training, you have to warm up so you get the blood rushing to your system and you're nice and warm, okay? So you can do the jumping jack. Jumping jack is you, you start up straight and then you just jump. Straight, jump. Side angle is basically you're just opening and closing your arms and your feet. Okay, now the second warm-up exercise is the shuffle. So you basically, you can set a time on your phone or your stopwatch and you just shuffle. You can do a quick shuffle, which is, you gotta hear, the, you gotta hear those feet. Okay, that's a quick shuffle. The third warm-up exercise is high knees. So basically, you just, you just alternate. You just alternate your knees with a slight jump. And uh, you do those three exercises to get warmed up. And once you're warmed up, you can start going to the second exercise, okay? We're gonna be doing a couple of abdominal exercises, which abs, ab exercises. Everyone's always asking about them, so we'll do, we'll do a few. We'll start with a standard crunch. You starting position, you come up, you squeeze, back down. Come up, squeeze, back down. So you can do 10 to 20. Uh, if you're feeling good, you can start with 30 and then the following ab exercise will be 10 to 15. So basically you can do 30 crunches. Once that's done, you rest for 30 seconds exactly 30 seconds and then you can go on to the second exercise you can do a leg raise so you raise your legs up back down up back down okay or you can do a reverse crunch the reverse crunch is basically starting position right there you bring your knees in touch your elbows back down bring your knees in touch the elbows back down okay or you can do the standard bicycle exercise, which you just extended leg bicycles. You can do that for a minute, or you can count up to 50. Once you finish those exercises, you can do the plank. The plank position is very simple. You basically have to, like a push-up position, but you're on your elbows. You stand, your head is up, and you stay in this position for a minute to a minute and a half. At that time, your stomach will be squeezing, you'll be burning a lot of fat, and this is a very tough exercise. It's a good finisher after you finish doing your abs. Okay, now we're gonna be doing the burpee exercise. The burpee is probably one of the most hated exercises, but it's the exercise that burns the most fat possible. I'm gonna do uh, uh, for beginners and for advanced. Basically, all you have to do is you drop down, okay? You kick your feet back, you kick them back straight and you stand up. It's very basic, so you're down, straight. Down, straight. So basically, you're coming down to the floor and then you're standing back up. Now, if you do just 10 repetitions, between five to 10, you'll burn a whole lot of fat. So basically, if you do it, you drop down, you jump, one, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, I just did five. My blood rate is high, I'm pumping, I'm burning fat, I'm burning all the visceral fat in that surrounding area in my stomach. So this is what you have to do to burn fat. You do five to 10, and look, I'm tired. Uh, we can do uh, another basic exercise is the push-up. You can do it anywhere. You just drop down on the floor, okay? And then your back straight, you come down, you touch your chest, and then you push back up. So you come down, touch, back up, touch, back up, three, four, five, and you can, you can keep going to 10, 15, 20, 25. There's a couple of variety in push-ups. You can do a standard push-up, 
a wide push-up, diamond push-up. The diamond concentrates on the triceps. So you, you gotta put your hands like that, like a diamond shape. You come down, back up, down, back up. Or you can do a wide push-up. You put your hands wide apart. Come down, touch your chest, back up. Touch your chest, back up. And for someone who wants to do a more advanced a plyometric push-up where you can jump a bit, you can do those. 10 to 15 or 20 is, is very good. You have to, you come, you do the push-up, you jump, you clap, you jump and you clap. Those are some of the push-ups that you can do at home or anywhere. Another leg exercise that you can do that also burns a lot of fat is the lunges. Basically, you stand straight up and you lunge forward. And then you go back, second leg. It's an alternating lunge, okay? So you see it from a side, way, side view. When you lunge, the knee has to be in front of the shin at all times. Back up, lunge, back up, lunge, back up. If you're a bit more advanced, you can do the jump lunge. The jump lunge is basically, you have to alternate like this. That, with a slight jump. Gets uh, the heart rate pumping. When the heart rate is pumping, you're burning fat. So it's a very good exercise to do. We're gonna do a couple of stretching exercises. So basically, once you're done training, um, and it shouldn't take more than 20 minutes to do the, the exercises that we just did. You uh, lay down on the floor, okay? And you just reach 10 times to the tip of your toes. So one, two, three, until you reach 10. Then you do the second leg. One, two, three, same thing. And then, you can open your legs as wide as possible and you can alternate one, two, three, until you reach 10, okay? Another thing you can do is the, uh, the quad uh, stretch. So basically, you put your foot behind you and you, you try to lean back as much as possible, okay? You can do that for 30 seconds, it would be good. Then you do the second leg, same thing. You do it for 30 seconds, okay? And then that's it. And once you've done that, you can lay flat on the floor, squeeze your leg, squeeze your knee towards you, and then put your hand here, and then twist, okay? So this is very good for your lower back and your entire body, okay? And then you can do the butterfly stretch. Basically, you bring your feet towards you and then you just try to squeeze your knees down to the floor, back straight, and that's it. 